You thought I'd never get to this? I thought you would never get to this. Where you. have you been all my life? Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 rom-coms you've never heard of. How's that for a sign? No, it's not exactly Jesus walking on water. I give it a six. That's a nine. For this list, we'll be looking at some great romantic comedies that never quite hit the mainstream. What's your favorite underrated rom-com? Let us know in the comments. Number 10, Just Right. Queen Latifah makes a lovable leading lady in Just Right, a sports rom-com about a physical therapist and an NBA player. You know what, let me get your door. I never figured you for the opening door type. Ah, oh, come on. I open doors, I offer my coat, I pull chairs out. Latifah plays Leslie, who is down to earth and unlucky in love. But she finds herself falling for her celebrity client despite the fact that he's already enamored with her friend. Leslie, the last thing I ever wanted to do was hurt you. You are so special to me. I know I'm special to you, Scott. A very special friend. The movie is standard romantic comedy fare, but it hits all the right notes. Queen Latifah's star quality lifts the material and brings some added spark. The leads are a winning combo, and the romance is a bit of a slow burn, allowing the chemistry to build. I'm not leaving these grounds without you. I'm not waking up another morning without being able to look at you next to me. Leslie, you're just right for me. Number 9. Populaire In recent years, competition movies have almost become a genre of their own. We've had sports movies, dance movies, and even chess movies. This one is about competitive typing with a side order of romance. Elle est nulle pour tout. Set in 1950s France, Populaire follows a small-town girl who discovers she's a gifted typist. Her skills catch the eye of her charismatic boss. He enters her for an international speed typing competition in Paris and declares himself her trainer. J'ai ça en tête depuis que je vous ai vu entrer ici. Ça ne concerne pas le travail à proprement dit, mais je suis sûr que ça vous rendrait plus heureuse, mon chou. Et moi aussi. Hijinks and romance ensue. The movie puts a French spin on the Hollywood rom-coms of the 1950s. The candy-colored color palette is a feast for the eyes, and the costumes are to die for. Que je batte un record de vitesse ou que je tape juste une lettre, je suis toujours en tête. Number eight, Overnight Delivery. It's always good value seeing stars in early roles, and Overnight Delivery gives us two for the price of one. Paul Rudd and Reese Witherspoon are sparky together as Wyatt and Ivy, a college student and a stripper who meet while he drowns his sorrows at her place of work. Look, I'm kind of too wired to go to sleep. I was thinking about getting some flapjacks. You want to come with me? Well, I don't. Uh, could sit here and moan. That would be fun. Wyatt believes his girlfriend is cheating on him, and Ivy persuades him to send her some revenge photos of the two of them together. But once the package has driven away, he immediately regrets his decision. Yikes. <laughs> I've just blown my future and you offer me yikes? You're the one that wrote the letter to Miss Perfect. I was just there for encouragement. It's your problem. No. It's just your picture. The result is an adventure across the country to retrieve the missent parcel. It may have gone straight to video back in 1998, but there are plenty of laughs to be had in this madcap road trip movie. I was killing time till I met you. Wow, I never thought I'd fall for a line like that. Alright, forgive me. <laughs> Number 7. Imagine Me and You There aren't a lot of LGBTQ plus rom-coms out there, and this one deserves more love. Evie, are you gay? Oh god. Am I gay? <laughs> I'm ecstatic! Piper Parabo stars as Matthew Good's bride-to-be. He seems like the perfect guy. But on her wedding day, she meets Lena Headey's Luce. My wedding ring is in there. And you tried the ladle. Okay. <laughs> and you can't empty No, it's too big. Um, <laughs> right. Only one thing to do. Cover me. What? Use the dress. I'm going in. Suddenly, things don't seem so simple anymore. The movie handles the central love triangle sensitively and treats its characters with respect. The critics found it unoriginal, but they kind of missed the point. It's just a little romantic movie that finds place for sapphic love in a genre where lesbians have been excluded for too long. I can't see me loving nobody but you for all my life. Number 6. Paperback Hero a year before Hugh Jackman made his name as Wolverine in X-Men, he cut his teeth in an Aussie rom-com called Paperback Hero. 
Jackman plays Jack Willis, a truck driver who writes romance novels on the side. Oh. Right, see? <laughs> see, I'm gonna get laughed out of town here. How could you write anything romantic? His alter ego, Ruby Vale, is a closely kept secret. But when his books start to take off, he enlists his best friend to play the role of author for the cameras. Well, you should be out there telling them you did it. I mean, they're your words, Jack. And I reckon if you're writing from the heart, who gives this stuff about the others? It's part road movie, part friends to lovers romance, and all a lot of fun. The Outback setting and quirky cast of side characters make for an enjoyable ride. Come on, you can't leave us here. Okay, Jack Willis, you bloody well come and get me. Number five, sleeping with other people. Wow, the old virgin. <laughs> Don't you mean the one that got away? Sleeping with Other People follows Jason Sudeikis and Alison Brie as two ex-lovers who reunite years after a one-night stand. Like What If and When Harry Met Sally, it explores the idea of a man and woman attempting to be just friends without sex getting in the way. So maybe we come up with a safe word for if we're having sexual tension and then we'll stop so whatever is creating some sexy or I'm doing some sexy. If we're feeling attracted, Okay, but it's mutual, say. so it is mutual. Although the movie does its best to subvert the romantic comedy form, it often falls back into old patterns. But the two leads have great chemistry, and it's easy to get invested in their will-they-won't-they -they relationship. There's a lot of fun back-and-forth dialogue and some great set pieces, too. See? You get it. Oh, yeah, but I'm psychotic. But I like an approachable psychotic. Number four, Boxing Day. The title of this culture clash holiday movie refers to the day following Christmas in the UK. It's not all tea and crumpets and miserable most of the time. Oh, damn, Scrooge. I thought you were excited to take me to the city where you the man. It focuses on a British author living in the US who brings his American fiance home for the Christmas period. There, she meets his eccentric British Caribbean family for the first time. She also has to contend with his ex, who just happens to be an international pop star portrayed by Leanne Pinnock. I briefly met the soon-to-be Mrs. Mackenzie yesterday. Oh, uh, uh, we're, we're not engaged. <laughs> oh, sorry. Must have missed a beat. Well, that's a little odd for someone of your gifts. Nothing wrong with my hearing. Hollywood tends to embellish the truth. The UK loves a Christmas rom-com, but Boxing Day is more than just a Love Actually ripoff. Inspired by the real life of leading man and writer-director Amal Amin, the movie is a loving celebration of black British culture, with a charismatic cast and a catchy soundtrack. I'm sure you want America to this oh, more than sure. <laughs> Number three, Priceless. In this fun French flick, Amélie's Audrey Totou plays Irène, a gold digger living it up on the Riviera. But just when she's about to bag the rich man she's been waiting for, a drunken liaison with a waiter puts her back to square one. Dans quelques mois, je te retrouverai là où je t'ai ramassé, dans un bar d'hôtel en mini jupe, avec un air faussement détaché. Oh, je m'inquiète pas. Hein. Gad Elmaleh portrays the hapless Jean, whose attempts to win Irene for himself lead him down some unexpected paths. In essence, Priceless is a modern-day screwball comedy with a touch of Breakfast at Tiffany's. The two leads are messy but likable with great on-screen chemistry. The twists and turns will keep you laughing right up until the satisfying denouement. Number 2. Sunshine on Leith since Mamma Mia burst onto our screens back in 2008, the jukebox musical has flourished. One of our favorites is Sunshine on Laith, a modern-day Scottish love story set to the songs of the Proclaimers. And I can't do any more. Please let me inside your door. You may not be familiar with the folk rock duo's whole back catalog, but you'll be singing along by the end of the movie. The story follows two soldiers recently returned from war. Allie is dating Davy's sister Liz and sets him up on a date with her English work colleague. This is a story of watching a man dying. 
subject unpopular, but I don't feel like lying. The narrative touches on the struggles faced by young people trying to find their place in the world. It's also great to see a rom-com starring blue-collar characters. But mostly, it's about the romance and those feel-good songs. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Home Again – Reese Witherspoon's suburban mom has a fling with a younger man. What are you guys doing home? I thought Nana was taking you to school. You're acting weird. Oh my god. Austin Land – Carrie Russell travels to England for an immersive Jane Austen experience. It's not proper in this particular time, or any time, for a lady to be alone after dark, okay. let alone Cavorting with the servants. Cavort? When doing so might lead to. Did you just say cavort? There's just something about that guy I really. Eagle vs. Shark. Two awkward misfits fall in love in New Zealand. I have two things to say. One, I'm leaving tomorrow. Two, that could change. Playing by Heart. An ensemble rom com with a star studded cast. I love conversations <laughs> with the guy saying, I can't stop thinking about you. Big Eden. A New Yorker returns to his small town and falls for the guy who owns the general store. Pike, it's plain he's taken you. I appreciate your concern. We want things to be nice for you too, buddy. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Juliet Naked from about a boy and fever pitch to high fidelity, Nick Hornby novels are proven rom-com fodder. This overlooked 2018 movie has that same classic feel. But instead of casting the flawed but lovable man-child as the protagonist, Juliet Naked instead focuses on the long-suffering girlfriend. It's boring versions of songs that you've heard a million times oh God, before. If you think that's what this is, this is big for me that this is this has happened, and I just don't want to spend my time in the aftermath of this new information with someone who doesn't get it." Rose Byrne brings her usual charm to the role of Annie, while Ethan Hawke co-stars as Tucker, a washed-up musician who Annie's boyfriend is obsessed with. When she writes a snarky online review about Tucker's latest album, the man himself gets in touch to tell her she was right. Bingo. You nailed it. I couldn't have explained it better myself. All good things. Tucker Crow. P.S. The folks on that website, they seem pretty weird, so I'd be grateful if you didn't pass on the address." They embark on a friendship with the potential for something more, but are there too many obstacles in their way? Funny and sweet, it's the perfect rom-com combo. Yes, definitely. I'm there. I'm, oh, good, I'm extremely good. interested. Oh, great, because I just wanted to broach the subject with you and I wasn't I mean, sure. For the record, I would have probably been a little more assertive. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.